Hello everyone and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 or Squared or whatever. Last time we were looking at these choreography things and I couldn't get it to work right because the planets were colliding with each other and it turns out you can just turn collisions off and if you do that obviously they're not going to collide then and you, you can look at all these really cool patterns and stuff so I don't remember which one we were looking at last time because there's a whole lot of them like a lot. Let's try Time Turner. This thing looks really cool. We just got to open up advanced settings first and we can probably turn off collisions here or somewhere else I guess I'm not really sure where it is but there is a there is a setting around here somewhere for it simulation settings okay so we turn collide off and now we can just make it play and it'll look really cool let's click create and I think the um, the pathway should be on decently long yeah they're pretty good so you can see it now look at that that is really cool and they should just keep on no why are you colliding I hit don't put on the collisions Jesus simulation settings Collide is now off. Okay, so now they should be able to pass by each other and not bang into each other, and it should work. Look at that. We can turn the grid off, too, because it's really annoying when you have all this stuff in the way. You turn off grid, and oh my god, what are you guys doing? Oh wait, this is something that's supposed to happen, I think. Yeah! Okay, let's make these things even longer, because, no, I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. Is this supposed to happen? Is it supposed to get all messed up like this? Because I thought that it was just supposed to make a really cool shape, and then just, just like keep repeating it. But no, things are going really weird now. All right, now I got a 3D system opened up. I'm not sure if I turned collisions off. I didn't. Now collisions are off. This is what it looks like if you put it in a 3D system. I'm assuming... Oh, these are actually traveling along the same path again and again. All right. See, it's really cool because all of these are affected by each other's gravities. So unless it's exactly set up properly, they're probably just going to go out of control. But it seems like it's just going to keep on going this way. No. Look at that, they're slightly different from each other every time. So my prediction is that eventually everything is just gonna go out of control like it did before. Yeah, that seems to be the thing. That's the common, that's the common concept here, okay? After like 30 seconds, everything just goes to shit. Great, I love it. So there's a lot of things that I haven't messed around with in this game, obviously. There are galaxies for one that I have not touched at all, but before we actually touch on galaxies, I wanna open up, um, uh, a planet that has a ring around it because the rings are actually made of all these tiny particles and fragments and stuff And it looks really cool. So we could probably just do a new simulation here A lot of people have been telling me to make my own solar system I don't know why that would be that interesting, but we can do it right now if you want We could just go to stars and we can take a star such as uh, I don't know how big any of these stars are it says right here So this one right here is 0.81 Sun so that might be a good one to put in here Nothing too crazy. Boom. All right, so that's spinning around, looking good. Now let's put an Earth like somewhere around here. There you go, whoa! Oh shit, what the hell did I do? Oh no, it's okay. We're doing hours per second, but still, Earth is really, really close to that star right now because you can see that the pieces of it are just like evaporating off it. Well, stop, stop the simulation. We gotta move you further away. Can I do that? Can I just pick you up and just drag you away? No, I can delete you if I want. There's a button for that. It's the delete button. Not bad. Pretty good at this. Let me try, like, um... Is there a way you can see how big the orbit is? Doesn't seem like there is. Let me try this one. Okay. So you're there. I'm gonna put it on, um, one second for the time. It's really cool, because you can change the time by typing in 1 SEC. And all of a sudden, it'll go one second per second. I'm pretty sure you can do it for any amount of time, too. I think it might go per second. So if you go one min, now it goes one minute per second, and so on and so forth. But I'm just gonna go with, um... I'm just gonna go with one second per second, obviously, because that's real time. It's gonna look really freaking slow, though. I don't know, man. I thought that Earth was gonna, you know, not go around the sun so quick. Even with so many days on it, it only took like one day to go around there. I didn't think it was that close, but now it's really, really slow. Let's bring it up to one day per second. One day. There you go. And it's going super freaking fast. Okay, stop. That's a bad idea. Let's go with one hour per second. Ah. Even then, Earth is going around this sun super fast, which I'm really confused about because I thought that it was far enough away that it wouldn't do that. All right, let's look at our sun. That might make more sense if we do that. This one has a mass of one sun, right? Okay, guys, I'm starting to understand this now. That sun over there is 0.8 suns, but it's actually really, really tiny. Like, this Earth is not that small in comparison to this sun. And to, um, to compare, we're actually going to put the normal size sun in here, and you'll see the difference. This is the normal size sun. Holy shit. Now it all makes sense. Now I know why Earth is spinning around it so fast. It's got a huge 
Um, it's got a huge gravity for the size of it, so I'm just going to put that over here. And I'm going to delete the other ones and we'll try again. Okay, Earth is now extremely tiny, which is good. That's what we want. And you can actually set whether or not you want the planets to be in orbits or if you just want them to launch. Oh, that's something we got to try. We got to try launching stuff and things after. So, um, you can kind of eyeball this, I'm pretty sure. Because if you're on Earth and you look out and you see the sun, um, that's how you can tell how far away the sun actually is. And if you put it this close, it's going to burn up. Because that's pretty, pretty close. So, we need to actually go further back, I would assume. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm guessing at some point the, sun, the Earth is going to stop looking like that. Maybe. All right, now we're on one day per second, and it turns out that we're way too close to the sun still. It's really hard to tell how close you are to things in this. Damn. Okay, well, um, you're just going to go ahead and do that, Earth. I guess eventually you're just going to have everything burnt off you. Not really sure. Is, are we even in orbit, orbit now? Like, what is happening? Oh. The sun is traveling through space, and the Earth is going around it. I mean, this always happens. This is how galaxies work. Stars are always rotating around galaxies. It just looks really strange right now, because of the fact that the um, because of the fact that the sun is also moving. Now, here's the cool thing with um, launches. Okay, you can take any planet you want. Let's say you want to take Mercury, and you click on the launch button, and you can set however fast you want it to go. Let's say 10 kilometers per second, and you just throw Mercury at the sun. It's amazing. I think we should probably set it to like one second per second so we can actually see this. That's going to take a long time, I would imagine. Where the hell did you go? Oh, here it is. There's Mercury slowly going towards the sun. Like very slowly. Okay. Well, let's set it to one minute per second and see how that goes. Okay. Well, that's still way too slow. Let's try one hour per second. There. Now you get some speed. So Mercury is now hurtling at the sun at one hour per second and it's going to hit the sun and it's just going to disappear, I would imagine. Yeah, pretty much. Sun doesn't mind. Sun's like, whatever, man. Shit hits me all the time. Go Jupiter! Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. In case you didn't already know. Which you probably did. That thing is freaking huge. Don't mind me. Just throwing your anus at the sun. Again and again. Alright, this should be pretty cool. I'm gonna- Oh my god, what happened? What happened? Oh no, I think I broke the sun, guys. I'm pretty sure I broke the sun and made it go supernova or something by hitting it with Uranus. Uranus is pretty damn powerful. Okay, I need to zoom out because I don't know what's going on right now. There's a giant cloud of gas. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we went supernova. Sun? Hello? Where are you? Are you in this giant cloud somewhere? Nope, this is Uranus again. I guess the sun just exploded. Hmm. You gotta be careful what you do with Uranus, guys. Sometimes bad things happen. Alright, well I accidentally did that. I'm not really sure what's happening, but we're just gonna move on. We didn't look at the rings yet. I keep meaning to look at the rings. Let's just, uh, can we just restart? Let's go with a, an empty simulation here. And then we're going to take, uh, we're going to take Saturn and look at the rings. Saturn. Why isn't Saturn listed here? What the hell is wrong with you? We got to search it up. There's actually so many, like, different, uh, celestial bodies you can search up and use in this game. But I just want to go for something simple like Saturn. Where's your rings at, Saturn? Huh? Bro? Oh, we got it on launch right now. We want it on still. There. Okay. Saturn! Where's the ring, man? You can't have Saturn without the ring, guys. Jesus. Okay, we'll have to just open up another simulation that has it. Open. And exoplanets? No, that's not it. I can't find it, man. I can't find anything with a ring on it. Where are all the rings at? There's got to be something around here somewhere. There's a sphere of a thousand planets. That's probably a bad idea, but I just opened it up. And holy shit. That is definitely a lot of planets. Well. Oh, oh, they're going to start hitting each other? Oh, shit. That ain't good, man. That ain't good at all. So are they base basically going to gravitate towards the center now and just form this giant ball of planets? Because do they gain? I don't know. I'm not really sure if they gain mass as they hit each other. I'm not sure if they have the simulation for that or not. Let me see. Uh, let's go with the one that's not going to get destroyed over here. All right. So Fortas, Fortis, whatever the hell you want to call this thing over here, it is um, currently 2.99 Earths. But as it gets closer to this one, that might change. 2.14 and 2.99. Let's see what happens when they go together. In you go, very slowly, at a very poor frame rate. And we'll see what happens to your uh, overall mass when you're done. Oh, it actually combined! Okay, so we should actually get a co combination of a whole lot of planets here that just eventually crumbles into one. This is really cool. Alright, well, it's really hard to simulate all this, but I'm assuming the more that get destroyed, the easier it should be to simulate. So we should start getting a better frame rate than 11 per second pretty soon. Oh, we're up to 15, guys. 18? 
19? Oh man, it's a frame rate party up in here. I'm gonna actually slow this down now. Let's go to um, one min. There, we're on one minute per second. It's not that much faster, but look, everything has now gone into one. We're soon gonna find out what the last planet remaining is. I'm excited. Ugh, look at that, man. Look at that fiery madness. Jesus. No, some of the plants are going in the opposite direction. I don't want that. You guys need to go back again. Apparently bad things are happening here, guys. Can we go with one hour per second? That's not gonna work. Go! One hour per second. All right. Or Tumnu disappeared, and now the rest of the plants are just gonna fly off into space. That's respectable. I respect that. All right, I got some good news. I found Saturn, and here's the ring. It's made out of tiny little rock particles, if you didn't already know. Um, I'm not sure how big they are, and you can't really click on them, I think. No, you can't. Okay. The point is, there's a whole lot of them, and when you zoom out, it actually starts looking like a ring again. So I'm assuming the whole ring situation, the reason it looks like that is because of all the light reflecting off it, but I have no idea. So that's the most I'm going to say about it. But it looks really cool, because if you play this now, Neptune starts pulling the ring towards it. And it acts like a little sheet or something. It just looks really cool, okay? I'm not going to say a whole lot about it because I don't know the science around a lot of stuff. And I end up saying a lot of really stupid things. But it looks it looks really cool. Okay, it does. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. So, so far, guys, what we've done in these videos is just look at planets and planet systems and things like that. But galaxies are so much more than that. Because galaxies, instead of being made of a little planets or little pieces of debris like Saturn's ring... Galaxies are made out of stars and solar systems and all that crazy shit. So it's on a completely different scale, but you can actually make them collide. And if you think this looks really cool, which I do, it looks even cooler if you make galaxies collide. So we're going to do that. I think you just need to open a simulation here and you should be able to go to... Where the hell are the galaxies? Okay, I went to create instead and now we have a single spiral. So this is what a normal um, galaxy looks like, I guess. And look at that! God, that is so mind-blowing to see. Like, you don't understand how big the universe is. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe maybe you understand perfectly how big the universe is. But it's really hard to wrap your head around. What are these little little red things? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, each little tiny speck here is a star, guys. This is just... It's, it's messed up. It is. It's crazy. There are millions and billions of stars in, like, galaxies. And then there's, like, millions of galaxies in the universe. I don't know. I don't know, you can't, you can't even think about it. I just locked onto something called No Name. I don't know what it is. I'm zooming in on it. Oh, it's the black hole in the center of the galaxy. Because every galaxy actually has a black hole in the center, if you guys didn't already know. That's why they spin. And this right now is 279 AU, a.k.a. 0 .0243 Milky Ways. Okay. I'm not really sure what that means, to be exact, because uh, it's really hard to, I don't know, gauge how big that is. But... It's a very large percentage of the Milky Way itself in weight, and the Milky Way has a lot of shit in it that's actually being weighed, so, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So what would happen if you took this black hole, and instead of it being 1.41 E plus 10, we made it 1.41 E plus, uh, like, 12 or something, because it's going to be way heavier now. And I'm assuming it's going to have a big effect on this. Let's zoom out and see. Okay, not a whole lot going on right now. Oh, this is going like hours per second. This is thousands and thousands of hours per second. That's kind of cool. Let's bring the mass up some more, okay? No name, you're getting a bigger mass. Wait, right now it's 2.43 Milky Ways. All right, that that's great. Let's make it uh, 15 Milky Ways. Yeah, how about that? Nothing really seems to happen when you do that. Okay, we're going crazy. 10,000 Milky Ways, boom. This has got to cause some shit to happen, right? Oh, guys, it's happening. When it's 10,000 Milky Ways, everything just gets sucked into the galaxy, like sucked into the black hole. You can see it now, how it's all gravitating towards it. Before, you couldn't really tell. And I don't know what these red specks are, okay? That's some other complex phenomenon, I'm sure. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, they're just floating around here, not doing a whole lot. All right, so how long does this take? Are some of these things coming back out again? It almost looks like some of them are coming back out. But then again, the black hole doesn't really suck things in like it should, so... Maybe it is just gonna go go in and then come back out again. Can we increase this? Can we like make this even faster? Or is this as fast as it can go? Seems like it might be. No, it's going up a little bit. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, that's enough looking at one galaxy for me. I wanna open up another one. I wanna open up E2 elliptical. I think that might be two together. Nope, it's just another galaxy. Okay, we need galaxy collisions. Collision, galaxy preset right here. 
So this is two galaxies colliding. They don't look quite as cool as they do like when uh, when they show you pictures on the internet. Okay, so this is millions of years passing here now, guys. That is ridiculous. 11 million years have passed since we started this simulation. The galaxies are slowly getting closer and closer together. But the thing is, you can only go as fast as the speed of light, which is actually really, really slow when you look at galaxies. So, yeah, you just kind of got to wait for things to happen. Oh, boy, 45 million years has passed. My wife is cooking dinner, and she told me if I'm not home by 50 million o'clock, she's really going to kill me, so I got to get going, man. <laughs> well, it was already 55 million, so I guess we're screwed anyway. Look at this. Look at this happening. It's just, uh, it's just mind-blowing to play this game and just to see the scale of some of the stuff that happens and to see how much faster you have to put things to actually see galaxies collide. In real time, it would take you 70 million years for this to happen. That's a long time, okay? It's been 100 million years, and the two galaxies have become one giant pile of dust we could say, when in reality it's thousands and millions of little tiny stars that are actually really big, okay? I can't even look at the window and look at the sun and imagine that. <laughs> and then you take all the suns in the entire galaxy and look at them at once, and this is what you get. All right, one more thing before we stop, guys. I just wanted to take a look at this because I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently in Game of Thrones, um, the land of Westeros, the, the actual like planet, it's 0.985 Earths, apparently, but um, it's it's revolving around a two-star system, a binary system, which is really cool. Like, this happens in the universe. Most of the things in this game do, but um, it is a fictional, obviously, it's a fictional place. But, yeah, binary systems are real, and they just basically, um, they revolve around each other in this really weird path. And then there's actually a planet just revolving around that. So is that it? There's no other planets in the solar system in Game of Thrones? Man, that's really boring. I feel bad for these people. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end this video here. There's obviously so much other stuff that I could do in this game. So as I said before, if you have any suggestions at all, just leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.